Hey guys, Chef D from Elite Catering. Today we're making one of my favorite dishes, Bouffe Bourguignon, also known as Beef Burgundy. Uh, there are countless recipes for this, uh, but this is just my version. First up are ingredients. I have five pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. I've left the skins on, but you can peel those if you like. Here's one pound of thick cut bacon I got from the butcher that's freshly smoked. Very, very good. Store bought is fine though. Uh, these are about three or four shallots that are finely minced. This is our bouquet garni. I'm using fresh thyme and two fresh bay leaves. Here's a pound of sliced mushrooms. This is a bag of frozen pearl onions. Here are about two pounds of sliced carrots. I've sliced them on the bias. Here's some really good brandy. Uh, it's not really expensive, about $12 a bottle, but it's about 10 years old. And we're going to use a Pinot Noir from California to save cost. First, we're going to render our bacon. So place it in a pan on about medium-low heat. We want the fat to render very slowly, not crisp up too much. Up next, the beef. I have about five pounds here. Um, these are cubed chuck roasts. Um, you want to pat them dry. That way we can get a nice uh, sear on them. We're also going to salt them a little bit for them to release moisture. Now let's set the mood a little bit. How about a little jazz music? And we're back. You can see that our bacon is rendered nicely. Uh, it's starting to crisp up, but not too much. Now we're ready to sear the beef. Just make sure it's nice and dry when you put it in the pan or it won't brown well. We also do not want to crowd the pan. We're going to do this in at least two batches, maybe three. Because we want to get every all sides of this nice and crisp and brown. As you can see, about after five to seven minutes, uh, we start turning them around in there. They get nice and brown everywhere and it's leaving a nice bond at the bottom of the pan and that's what we want. We're on about a medium heat here. We don't want to go too high because we don't want this bond to burn. Here's our second batch of meat. Again, we don't want the heat too high. We want to keep it a nice medium heat so that because this is going to continue to darken through a couple more steps. Here our second batch is done, uh, and I've been putting all this into a large, uh, like a four or five inch deep hotel pan that we're going to throw in the oven. Next we're going to brown our mushrooms. Again, don't overcrowd them or they won't brown properly. Something Julia Child always said, she was very right about that. In fact, this is her favorite dish, I forgot to mention that. Anyway, we're going to brown these mushrooms in two batches. I'm using the baby bella kind here, but you can use the white button. As you can see, our mushrooms have browned up nicely, and they've also left their fond, along with the bacon fond, along with the beef fond. You see where we're going? We're building these layers upon layers in here. You can see it's getting kind of dark. This is going to be our last layer of flavor, our minced shallots, which we want to cook, keep a steady eye on them. The next step, we're going to deglaze this fond. And you will see that I had the camera a little too close when I lit the match. I apologize for any jerking, um, but the vapors are highly flammable. As you can see, don't be afraid, and we always do this with the heat on the burner turned off. Always off before we do this, because we're adding an, a high test alcohol to that pan. We want it to be safe, and we let it burn off, and this is what we'll end up with. We're going to just keep adding this into our hotel pan here. Every layer of flavor that we had. We're going to add our potatoes. Now we're going to add our pearl onions. Our carrots. Here we're going to add our reduced sauce with the shallots in there. Our bouquet garni is going in as well. I also like this bouillon, which actually has beef as the main ingredient. Just to punch it up a little bit, but it's not necessary. Uh, we've added our wine in there, and now we're going to add some water, uh, just to thin it out a little bit. You can use all wine, uh, but that gets very expensive. This is enough for about 50 people. That'd probably be about $70, $80 worth of wine. Season with black pepper to taste. Wrap this tightly in foil, and put it about 300 degrees for two hours. 
Are we going to make a roux? I use some vegetable oil, you can use butter. Half fat, half flour. And we're going to cook it to the peanut butter stage because it has a lot more flavor. It'll look like this. It won't uh, it make our dish extremely thick, but it will add a lot of flavor. So after we get it out, we're going to throw our roux in there. Heat it up thoroughly until it thickens slightly. You can top it with a little extra thyme or parsley. But other than that, it's ready to go, guys. Enjoy!